It's time for an exceptional one. This is a 1967 GTO Pontiac historical documented born regimental red four speed with the 400 HO motor, 355 posi in the back. We have over 300 pictures of the nut and bolt body off frame rotisserie restoration that was literally finished about a month and a half ago. This car is so fresh, it's so detailed, it's so nice. Uh, Caleb already did the test drive video. He said it was amazing. There weren't squeaks, there weren't rattles. Uh, our shop went through and serviced the car. Uh, this is really, really exceptional. I paid more for this one than I typically do, but it justifies it. The car is amazing. So there's some documentation here, receipts, uh, all from Ames. They're the GTO <coughs> parts specialist. And then we also have about 300 pictures, uh, over 300. And some of those are posted on our website, volocars.com. And that's where you'll find a price tag on every one of the cars, uh, along with the monthly finance option. But for right now, join me and let's go for a spin. Yeah, this thing is just, <laughs> I've been saying it in every video, and I'm starting to get made fun of, laser beam straight, because every car I'm buying is. I walk away from it if it's not. Uh, but it is absolutely straight. I'm looking at the reflection of the lights. They are straight. They're not wavy or ripply. The hood lines up real nice. All of this is clean and straight. And by the way, the restorer of this car says it's all original rust-free metal, no patch panels. That's a big deal. They've all got quarter panels and doors. Uh, the roof is straight. All this is nice and straight. You'd notice I had to slam the door twice. All the rubber is just so new, it's just tight. It's not hanging up or dragging or rattling. You just gotta give it a little, little extra effort when you close the door and it'll, it'll close solid. Uh, all straight, fits beautifully. The paint is just smooth, beautiful, glossy. Highly polished, uh, all nice and clean, no bubbles. Yeah, it lines up real nice. All the glass uh, looks like it's been replaced. All crystal clear glass, and look how nice it all lines up and fits. The uh, vent window frame is new chrome. All the rubber seals and gaskets are new. All the moldings are new. The mirrors. Uh, here's like a, this is a piece of dust or something in the paint right there. Left a little little flaw. Uh, all the chrome up here, beautiful new grills from Ames. All the lenses has T3 uh, correct headlamps, correct new antenna. It is absolutely slick. The big wide rocker moldings are new. The wheel well moldings are polished like chrome. Now we put some craggers on. They're old school. They are new. It looks great. It has a stance. 15 inch Kregers, they're sparkling. BF Goodrich tires, a little bit fatter in the back. Uh, so yeah, it's just got a beautiful look to it. Uh, emblems look new, rear bumper, tail lights, everything outside the car looks new. And I'm gonna take you through the inside where everything looks new too. All right, I'm gonna show you what a new trunk compartment looks like. I mean, look at how clean this looks like it's sandblasted. This is painted slick. The stickers are replaced. The jam is as slick as the car. The weather strip is new. All clean, clean metal, all neatly spatter painted. Uh, all new wiring harness. The tail light housings are nice and clean. And I love it when they buy a fifth uh, tire for a spare. That means they're not cut or they're not uh, yeah not cutting corners uh, matching Kreger with a brand new BF Goodrich tire got the jack assembly underneath there uh, new mat the seat divider looks new so yeah that's uh, that's like factory new looking this one really is exceptional Restoration alone would cost what I'm asking easily, and you'll be waiting a year or two, and you can only hope it would turn out this nice. Door jams are slick as can be. 
Door latches look new, weather strips are new, and they fit right. Door panels, armrests, window cranks, that's all new. Looking at a beautiful dash, it's all restored, new dash pad. Uh, it was ordered new with the rally gauges, that includes the tachometer and the actual gauges instead of dummy lights. Nice wood grain, factory AM FM radio, it works. Uh, it might be a reproduction, probably is a reproduction, but it looks just like the original and it does work. All of the, you know, the handle and the vents and kick panels, all new. New carpet, reproduction floor mats. Seats are all re-sprung, re-cushioned, reupholstered. Full set of uh, seat belts in great shape. At the Hearst 4 speed. Uh, this seat is also excellent. It actually, looks like they gave it a little more bolster. Uh, yeah, normally, they're a lot flatter back then, but it looks like they tweaked that a little bit. So the backs of the seats, uh, the rear floor mats, the rear seat belts, I mean, everything's just in great shape. Uh, oh, armrest pad fell off. We got a, that's held on with a couple screws. And door panels, side panels, rear shelf, all that's real nice. A couple little wrinkles in the sail panels. Headliner uh, is new. Dome light works. Visors, mirror, that's all new. Reproduction deluxe wheel. This was in the Ames receipts. This was like four or five hundred bucks for this steering wheel. Has a deluxe trim on the pedals, new wiring harness. A really nice uh, interior. Yeah, it's gone through the shop. We spent about 1900 bucks dialing in uh, things, and then it gets checked a second time before it leaves because I know there's a tail light out, and, of course, that armrest uh, needs to be screwed back in place. But look at this motor compartment. This is like a model car. It is pristine looking. So it is a period correct 400. This was born an HO, and this motor is rebuilt as an HO. It's 360 horsepower, has the correct 670 heads, has the Ram Air exhaust manifolds, and then the open element air cleaner, correct carburetors all restored, every bracket, every clamp, every wire, every hose just looks like brand new. Uh, reproduction heater hoses and clamps. The hinges are new. Inner fenders, the rubber splash shields, all of it is like spotless. I, I keep saying it looks like new because it is. It's only a couple months old. Radiator and cap and shroud and fan and hose, everything uh, correct. Uh, we put a new alternator on it. Spring clamp battery cables. The washers are hooked up. It has power steering. Power brakes with a cadmium plated booster. Wiper motors new. Under the hood has the pad. It's all painted. I mean, this is show quality right here. Well, <clears throat> Caleb already did his test drive, but you're going to join him here for a couple minutes. See you soon. GTO, you guys won't be disappointed with this one. The quality is here. Uh, as soon as I sat down in this car, it just felt very fresh in here. Uh, everything's just so nicely put together, super clean. Feels like a fresh build, but that it's already been dialed in. Uh, I don't feel any rattles or hear them, no weird vibrations. Suspension feels good. Nice and firm over the bumps, but it's not too harsh. Uh, the seat, nice and cushioned. I, I feel like I'm sitting up high. The springs are strong is what I'm trying to say. Uh, they're definitely new. Cushion feels good though. Shifter bushings are solid. This thing just clicks right into gear. Let's see what she's got. We'll beat this traffic, that's for sure.
listen to this thing. Oh. I'm in love. I don't know what else to say. Drives very nice, shifted through the gears, the clutch feels great. Drive straight down the road. Look at this, guys. 60 miles an hour, no problem. I was so excited I didn't even try the turn signal, but that does work. It lights up. Horn works as well. Radio works. Fans working for the heater. Try the wipers. Wipers work. Everything works. Like I said, the quality's here. Brakes feel really good. They don't drag left or right. Or they don't pull left or right. I don't feel them hanging up or dragging. Oh, that exhaust is amazing. Yeah, this is the one for sure. 67 GTO. It doesn't get better than this. It's got the look, it's got the sound, the stance, the colors, everything about it. Checks all my boxes. So when I say his body off the frame, it's just like it sounds, and then the body was put on a rotisserie so they could flip it all around, work on it, by having to bend and lay on their backs, you get a better end result. Uh, we have photos of it on the rotisserie, stripped on the bare metal. The floors, the braces are just spotless metal. Um, everything under there was prepped, painted, all the chassis, the frame, it's not even pitted. It's all like this, just smooth, semi-gloss black, and every component that went back on was rebuilt or new. All of the steering and suspensions completely rebuilt, upgraded with a quick ratio steering box. The entire brake system was replaced, e-brake cables, lines, hoses, and it was upgraded with disc at all four wheels. The entire fuel system was replaced, the tank, the lines, sending unit. Uh, nice sounding dual exhaust. I don't know if it's quite three inch, but it's a fatter pipe with flow masters. The tail pipes are tucked up there real nice, a little turn down tip so they're not hanging down. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's still spotless. The starter looks brand new. Uh, it is a correct four speed. It's dated, it's proper for this car. Muncie, that was opened up and gone through and it's detailed and uh, you know all the clutch, all the linkage, all that is new or restored. Drive shaft is all rebuilt and has the factory markings put back on it. Uh, it was born with a 355 Posi, that's what's in there now. Pontiac calls it the safety track. Uh, that got new bearings and seals. Uh, so it's just literally like brand new underneath because it is. So exceptional GTO. Go to volocars.com, salesmen can help answer your questions, like how to get this delivered, how to get it financed. Uh, if you enjoy the videos like Max does, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified when the next one's posted. Say goodbye. Bye.